Hi everybody, I'm Nomadic Matt. And as you can see by this beautiful, iconic red bridge behind me, I am in San Francisco, California. One of the coolest, techiest, hippest, foodiest cities in America. I'm gonna take you around some of my favorite spots in the city. Thing number one, and probably the most popular attraction in the entire city, the Golden Gate Bridge. Start your visit by getting some good photographs from the lookout point near the start of the bridge. Then, walk across the bridge, head to the headlands across the bay, and hike some great nature trails. This is Chrissy Field. It's an incredibly popular spot with locals for running, dog walking, and picnics during the summertime. You get some great views of the Golden Gate Bridge, and there's a nearby beach. When you come visit the bridge, definitely spend some time here walking around and hanging out. Behind me is one of the world's most famous prisons. You might have heard of it. It's called Alcatraz. It housed some of the most dangerous and violent criminals in the United States. Now, it's a cool tourist attraction. You can walk around the island, learn about the history of the prison and the inmates that were imprisoned there. All right, so we're at the Palace of Fine Arts, a huge landmark in the city of San Francisco, popular with residents and tourists alike who love to come here walk around the pond, maybe spot a turtle, relax in the rotunda, and just overall hang out. Don't miss San Francisco's Chinatown. It is the oldest and one of the biggest in the United States. It is filled with great shops, cool tea houses, and even better restaurants. I mean, I love coming to San Francisco and stuffing my face with Chinese food. This is Lombard Street, one of the most crooked streets, if not the most crooked street, in America. And as you can tell by all the people behind me with cameras, one of the most popular places to visit for tourists. It's a little cheesy, but it's really pretty and it's a cool walk down. So definitely take a few moments, come check it out during your next visit. So behind me is the ferry building. And besides getting a ferry to places across the bay, it's a great place to eat. I mean, just look at all these stalls behind me. You get ramen, you get pizza, sandwiches, I'm hungry just thinking about it. And inside, there's even more. It's foodie heaven. And there's lots of little shops in there where you can get locally sourced food too. Come here, buy food, take it to your kitchen, cook, or just eat at one of the shops here. I love it. I always eat here whenever I come to San Francisco. Located in the western part of San Francisco is Golden Gate Park. It's 20% bigger than New York Central Park, so you know it's pretty damn big. There's a lot of walking trails here, an art museum, a flower conservatory, cool places to hang out like you see behind me in a super highly overrated Japanese tea garden that is not worth the money, so definitely avoid that. Even though it's located in the far western part of the city and kind of away from all the other main areas, on a beautiful day like today, it's definitely an awesome place to come hang out. So that's my San Francisco. As you can see, there's a lot of cool and interesting things to do in this city. It will never leave you bored. If I missed anything you think is cool and people should know about, Leave a comment in the comment section. But until next time, travel cheaper, better, and longer. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new travel videos every Wednesday.